The latest surge in COVID-19 puts a strain on the state's health care system. Doctors at OU Health say they are working under more stress with less staff, especially in the state's only level one trauma center. News 9's Erica Rankin has the details. The medical director for the trauma center here at OU Health tells me that at the very beginning of COVID for the first few months, they actually saw a decrease in trauma cases, but she says things turned around and they started to see an uptick last June. We saw that increase in um, violence and then we started again to see the car crashes, the ATV, the gravity, the falls from standing. For 20 years, OU Health is home to the state's only level one trauma center. 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. Caring for the most critically injured and ill patients. These are time sensitive things. You need that care now and we're available for that. Dr. Roxy Albrecht, the trauma center director, says COVID-19 has strained staff and resources inside the trauma center, especially bed capacity. We've had patients come from uh, areas of the state that we normally wouldn't have got before from surrounding states. It's a delicate balance to care for all patients, including COVID-19, and make sure there's room in the state's only level one trauma center. Dr. David Teague, a trauma surgeon, says they have to make room for the life and death situations. If we accept a trauma patient from another hospital, and that trauma patient has multiple injuries, she may be here for 10 to 20 days. That's a bed that cannot go to a different patient. Dr. Albrecht says in the past two years, they've seen nearly a thousand more trauma patients than normal. In Oklahoma City, Erica Rankin, Oklahoma's own News 9.